Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how we can separate the meristematic tissue from a plant root tip and look at the different stages of mitotic cell division under the microscope. I will take you through all the processes involved in preparing the slide and looking at the slide to find out and identify the stages of mitosis under a compound microscope. So let's get started. Let's start with the apparatus that we need. Of course, we'll be, we will be needing an onion. Now this onion has been kept like this for about three to four days. If you just take an onion and keep it in contact with water, the lower surface of the onion, if you keep in contact with water, water, you will see roots coming out of it. We will need these root tips because these root tips contain meristematic tissue. We will be needing a stain in this case, we will be using acetocarmine, which is a stain obtained from an insect. We will be needing a spirit lamp, some distilled water, glass slides, watch glass, cover slip, needle, forceps, scissors, scalpel. We will be needing a rubber headed pencil like this for squashing and a thermometer. Now what we will do is and what I have already done is that we will take these root tips. So we will take the root and we will take the absolute tip of it. If you look at the tip, the tip becomes slightly pointed. So we have taken about this much of the root tip. This is the root tip that I need and I have put, I will put it in um, solution containing acetic acid and methanol and then after that I have put it in hydrochloric acid and my root tips have been fixated. So this process of putting it in acetic acid and uh, methanol and then putting it in hydrochloric acid is already done before you start your experiment in your laboratory. So you will be given root tips like this which are present in hydrochloric acid. It takes about one hour to keep this, to fix this uh, with uh, acetic acid and methanol. Now what, why do we fix it? We fix it because we want this root tip, the cells of the root tip to stop at whatever stage of mitosis they are in. So if they are in metaphase, we want them to stop at metaphase. If, if they are in anaphase, we want them to stop at anaphase so that we can see them. Right? We can observe the stages. If they all complete cell division, then we will not be able to see any of the intermediate stages. And then we put it in hydrochloric acid, one normal hydrochloric acid. Now this one normal hydrochloric acid is containing these root tips. Now if you look at it closer, you can clearly see a more opaque region and a more transparent region in every uh, section that we have taken. So if you look at the sections, you can easily identify there is a more opaque region and a more transparent region. The opaque region is pointed where the transparent region is not. So the opaque region is where the meristematic tissue is located. This is the part that we want but we will not cut it off right now. So what we will do is we will first carry out the process, stain it and then we will take only the tip. For that we will have to heat this at 60 degrees Celsius for about 5 to 10 minutes. Now, here we have to manipulate a little bit in the sense that if you see that if you are heating it and this tissue is almost dissolving, getting cooked, then stop heating. But usually the process requires you to heat it for 5 to 10 minutes. I have usually seen that if you heat it for about 5 minutes at 60 or just below 60 degrees, it is fine. So let's start the process. Now we will use the spirit lamp. And light it and we will be heating these specimens that we have taken in hydrochloric acid for about three to four minutes but we'll have to make sure that the temperature is 60 degrees not more than that for that we will be taking a thermometer as you can see the thermometer reads around 25 degrees here right so when you heat it you put the thermometer in make sure that the thermometer does not touch the bottom of the test tube and you will slowly see the thermometer, the temperature inside the thermometer rise. So 
the temperature should reach around 60. The moment it reaches 60, we will not hold it, hold the test tube there because if it reaches 60 after that, if you hold it there, then it will cross 70. So see, I have taken it off and now I'm waiting for this temperature to come down. So I'll cool it a little bit. Hold it again, take it off like this. Do not directly keep holding it on the flame. Hold it on the flame, take it off like this. You about about two to three minutes is enough most of the times. But usually you are asked to do this for five to ten minutes. My experience says that if you do it for five to ten minutes, most of the times the tissue absolutely becomes dissolved the tissue dissolves so you can't even see the tips anymore so i'll continue doing this if you're not sure about the temperature you can take the thermometer back and put it in and see what the temperature is at so it is crossing almost 70 so i will not heat it any further i will keep it like this and we will carry on with the rest of the procedure this one is almost 70 degrees so if I just allow it to cool down a little bit within 2 to 3 minutes it will come down to 60 and stay at that. Now I will take the root tips and wash it in distilled water and while I am doing so I will get the stain ready so that I can immediately put it in stain. I will not keep it in distilled water for a very long time because then the water will go in and the cells do not show a very distinct structure. So I will get the stain ready first for that as I have just mentioned we have taken acetocarmine. We will take some acetocarmine and put it in the watch glass. And then we will quickly wash this in distilled water for that. For that I will just pour this entire content into a beaker and then I will pick up the root tips, wash it in distilled water very quickly and then put it in the stain. I will take one more, wash it in distilled water very quickly and then put it in the stain. You can take a watch glass and pour your content in the watch glass that is also doable. If you look at these roots, you will see that one portion is slightly opaque whereas the other portion is transparent. That is the tip. The opaque portion is the tip. That is the one that you would like to keep on your slide. The transparent part, if you want, you can chop off. If you want, you can keep. Now we will be picking up the root tip and mounting it on the slide. If you are not too confident about which part is the tip and which part is not the uh, tip, then do not take this chance. But if you are confident, then you can just take the tip and discard the rest of the root. So that part is the tip. I am taking just the tip and I will discard the rest of the root. If you are not confident, confident about which part is the tip, then you can keep the entire root. That is also not a problem. Now quickly, I will put some stain on it and I will put the cover slip. Now for putting the cover slip, there is a technique that I have taught you before. I will show it to you again. So you use a needle, touch the stain, touch the needle to the on the glass slide and slowly drag the needle out that way you will avoid putting any air bubble inside and this is done however you have to squash this root tip because if you don't squash the root tip all the cells will remain in one position in a clot and you will not be able to see the cells separately so for squashing you will be needing a rubber headed pencil hold the glass slide with a needle at the center. Do not use your fingers for this otherwise you will leave fingerprints on the cover slip and then slowly tap the glass that is the cover slip with this rubber headed pencil. Now let me show you something. 
Now if you see it, the squashing is not complete and you can see a patch of cells here. Once the squashing is complete, this patch of cell absolutely will dissolve. I'll show you how it looks like after squashing. So if you look at it, before squashing, the tissue looks like this. It looks, it looks like a patch or a cluster of cells. Now after squashing, how it will look, you'll see. Usually after squashing, the entire tissue dissolves. So you do not see a patch like this. I'll quickly squash it for you. Don't be scared because this rubber headed pencil is a safe bet. It will not break your cover slip. Just tap it and after some time you will see that you cannot see the patch anymore. That is when you know that your squashing is complete. So if you see it now, the patch is not as distinct as it was. So the cells have dissolved. If you want, you can squash it a little bit more. All right. Sometimes on the cover, watch, uh, cover slip you might find some stain so I am just wiping away that stain from the top of the cover slip so that the slide looks neat and after your squashing is properly done you see the patch is, has almost dissolved. That is how it looks like after proper squashing. Now that's all and now all we have to do is observe it under the microscope and see the different stages. So let's observe it under a light microscope. As you can see, this is how the slide looks under the microscope. And you can see so many different cells, most of them are in the same stage, which is prophase. But this one, as you see here, is in anaphase. How do you know that? You know that it is anaphase because the chromosomes are clustered towards the poles and they are facing the center of the cell. That one, as you can see here, this is metaphase. How do we know it is metaphase? It's metaphase because the chromosomes are arranged at the center and you can see the ends of the chromosomes are facing towards the poles. Now this is a field where you can see two metaphases. This is one metaphase, this is the other one. And you can see an anaphase here, which is a late anaphase or an early telophase. You can see a prophase, you can also see uh, uh, two daughter cells have been formed and they have separated from each other after anaphase. So these are the different stages that you can see under the microscope uh, for an onion root tip when you're observing mitosis. So that was all about today's video. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned from it. Do check out the courses on our website manochaacademy.com and our Android app Manocha Academy. Links are given below. We have courses on physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, coding and artificial intelligence. In these courses you will get concept videos, live classes, quizzes, mock tests and revision notes. So they will be perfect for your exam preparations. Links are all given below. Do hit the like button and share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, go ahead and smash the subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Stay connected with Manoch Academy and let's keep learning.